All right, so who's going to win the Stanley Cup? Uh, so we're just going to compare the two teams, kind of who they played so far and uh, what I think. Uh, Vegas, uh, the glory they placed face first was Jonathan Quick and the LA Kings. Uh, beat them in four. Then Martin Jones and San Jose Sharks beat them in six. Definitely could have beat them in five. Uh, they looked really good in that series. Uh, obviously, uh, beating them in six is still a really good feat. Uh, Winnipeg Jets, Connor Hellebuck, and uh, they beat them in... Uh, Five games, which I didn't expect. I expected Winnipeg to maybe win in six. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, that's kind of their road to the Stanley Cup Finals. Carlson, March or so has had a really good uh, playoffs. Uh, Carlson's had a pretty decent playoffs. Obviously, Flurry's been unreal. Uh, just and that's what you need to make the playoff of uh, the Stanley Cup Finals in the NHL. Pretty t good goal tending and time of scoring. I was look at Washington, so Columbus, they beat in six. They lost the first two games and then won the next four, putting Hopi in net. Uh, obviously, they beat Pittsburgh in six, their uh, arch rivals, and finally beat them. And then they disposed of uh, Tampa Bay in seven. Definitely could have run either way there. They played a really good last game. Uh, Hopi, I think it's shot out streaks at 159 minutes. Uh, so, yeah, so they beat Bobrovsky, who could be one of the best bullies in the league at times. Uh, they beat Murray, who has had two amazing uh, Stanley Cup uh, Stanley Cup playoff runs. An okay uh, regular season this year. He was hurt quite a bit. And then, uh, obviously, uh, oh, the goalie for Tampa Bay, uh, Vasilevsky, uh, who could be a, the best winner this year. He had an outrageous uh, first half and uh, kind of tapered down a little bit, but his stats are still unreal. So, uh, against each other, depth scoring versus elite scoring. Does depth scoring uh, beat elite scoring? Well, I think uh, Vegas proved that it kind of does this last series. Um, Mark Shifley was scoring at an elite pace. Uh, pretty much the only one scoring for the Winnipeg Jets. So, uh, obviously, if you have elite scoring, you need a little bit of help. It is uh, hockey, so it's not a one person game, it's a team game. And the only person that can actually really steal a game is the goaltender if he gets a shutout or lets one goal in and just gets absolutely peppered with shot and just and just plays amazing. Uh, but yeah, depth scoring uh, three, at least three of the lines for Vegas have a chance to score a lot and uh, even the fourth line can chip in a little bit. Meanwhile, it's a more front end heavy for Washington, but. Maybe with uh, Burakovsky, I think that's his name. Uh, he got two goals the last game against uh, Tampa Bay, so maybe he's starting to heat up. Those were his first two goals of the season. Uh, if he heats up, uh, Eller, if he can chip in a few goals, it, Washington can more balance out that scoring quite a bit because obviously Sovetsky can back from Nemestikov, and uh, I guess you can put Carlson. But yeah, so who do I think is going to win? And I'm going to say Washington six games. Hopefully he's playing really good right now. I mean, so is Flurry, so let's look for low-scoring games. But I think uh, just that game-breaker in Ovechkin and uh, playmaking backstrom as he gets a little bit healthier here. Uh, he had a few days off. So uh, look for him to look a bit better in this series than he did last series. Obviously, in playoffs, you come back earlier than you should. And I uh, definitely showed the first couple of games, but... He kind of settled in and got a couple points there. And uh, so, yeah, I think Washington in six. Look for him to be really close games. I don't expect any blowouts. Uh, wouldn't shock me if Vegas won, but uh, just got to bet against them again. Uh, been do Everyone's been doing it all year, and uh, it's just the easy play, I guess. So, yeah, Washington in six. Let me know what you think. Uh, tell me who's going to step up in the series. Obviously, you expect Ovechkin. He's put up pretty good uh, playoff numbers. Uh, March or so has played really well, so he might step up for Vegas. Uh, watch Neil. He's been there before, so maybe an uh, experience factor. He just uh, knows how to bring it in the play, uh, finals. Who knows? Flurry, if uh, Vegas has any chance, obviously Flurry's going to have to stand on his head, so watch for him. And Hopi, same thing. Uh, with the balanced attack of uh, Vegas, he's got to be ready every shift. Uh, they're not going to take a shift off and watch for their speed to maybe overpower Washington, but Washington took care of Tampa, and Tampa's a really fast team, so yeah. Let me know what you think, like, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.